Because I'm going to put my nuts hat on your drum set. Okay? Um, I got to leave you in a basic turtle position. We're going to do something a little fancy. This is an advanced class, so we're going to do something a little fancy. We're going to stick with Cradle. So it's Cradle Wednesday. So I'm going to be here. I'm riding the turtle position. I'm on top. I'm grabbing the pectoral muscle. Right? Grab it right on the chest. We talked about the idea that cradling a jiu-jitsu guy, one of our fellow jiu-jitsu guys, is going to be easy. We can drive it forward, create space, get the elbow in, but if he's a wrestler, he's going to sit on the seals pretty good. You won't be able to get the arm in. So what do we do to bait him? We pull up on the foot. We post his, post his leg like this. Now, if I want to get the cradle, I have to bring my chest over his back, and I connect my, my hands, and what I want is I want my left elbow uh, deep on the knee, and I want my right elbow deep on neck. See how both of my elbows are essentially vacuum sealed on his, uh, his knee and his neck. So that's what I want. And then I'm trying to tighten it as much as possible. Okay, so for the roll I'm going to loosen it up because you don't want to hurt your training partner too bad. So I'm on top, I'm riding the top position, I'm grabbing the pec muscle. I want him to post a leg because I need some sort of clearance to get my left arm in. So I pull up on his leg, he posts his leg. So why would I do this, by the way? Why would I do what I'm about to do? I'm about to roll over the top. I would do it if, I, I try to sit through, let's say. I try to sit this way, right? I can't sit through, right? Because his leg is acting as a, a post that's enabling, uh, disabling me from being able to roll laterally. Now I can either tear his knee, or I can just end up losing position and ending up you know, more or less on bottom. So when a guy does post his leg like in this kind of a way, here and here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna forward roll over the top, as lazy as can be. I'm gonna stop right here. See this? See where I am? It's just a, a lazy forward roll. All I have to do now is turn my elbows towards the mat, and you get a simple little cradle. Really easy cradle. What we have to do is you have to get used to, used to having a really strong grip and squeeze, otherwise you're gonna feel vulnerable when you're inverted and you're upside down. So that's something that comes with time. So again, I'm riding, and I would like to see more of you guys riding like, with your knees, shins off the ground, your knees on the hips. So my knees are here, I'm pinching my knees on his lower back and on his hip joint. And I'm telling you, for Jitsu it's a great too. It's easy to throw your hooks in from here, it's very easy. And it also keeps a lot of pressure on his back. Most of us, we always were always here, right? Which is, a, there's no weight on you, right? Not really. So we actually wanna, we're, gonna, we're all gonna start riding a little differently just to, you know, I'm just gonna be here. Great for Jitsu, great for wrestling. I'm gonna grab his pec, I'm gonna pull up on his shin bone. He posts the leg. I can't reach here, see? So I'm gonna bring my body to this side. So I'm essentially on the other side. And then all I have to do, I mean I can move back if I need to generate momentum for the roll. There's no perfect way I can do it either way. But the concept is I wanna roll feet over my head. So I'm rolling all the way over the top, and then pulling him through. And then I get my top position. So within the context of jujitsu, why would I roll over the top? Why would I do that? I'm not pinning them, right? I'm not getting back points. Why would I, why would I do that in jujitsu? What would be the context? Can someone tell me? You said that. Right, right. So I would roll if he posts his leg, because it's the more risky uh, way of cradling. But why would I be doing any of this cradle stuff? I came up hooks in the neck too long. Obviously, as jiu-jitsu guys and girls, this is what we want to do, right? We, we always want to try, to try to place our hooks in. This is our game that we're playing. Um, it's the best option that you have, arguably, arguably. Um, but that's not always possible. And also, sometimes in a match or in a fight or in a self-defense scenario, you're very tired, you know? And throwing your hooks in, might, you might lose position. So this is a way to maintain control and also develop a certain squeeze that then translates to chills, neck cranks, and, and everything. You really get much stronger practicing these cradles. So I'm riding here, I'm chest heavy on his back, I'm grabbing his chest, I pull up on his ankle, he starts to go here, I cast my legs to one side, I grab, just like that. Now I'm just gonna roll head over heels with this. Roll, pull him over the top. Now you have to have your, your grip tight. Like this is a pretty loose grip. I have a, what is it, like an S grip? Realistically, I would want to be closer to this grip, but I'm a little uh, reticent about keeping this grip and rolling from here, because I feel like I can hurt his neck pretty good. But in a real match, of course, I'm not going to do the full roll. Only you guys want to show them sort of how the grip look. So if I have a lead me down on all fours, and I, and I pull, and I'm here, I'm really, really where I would like to see you guys doing in your jiu-jitsu matches, 
It's like a zip tie. See how tight that is? And then I would roll from here. And because the repercussions is if his leg gets stuck in a position where he's compromised, his knee tears. But that's not, not to be uh, barbaric, but that's not really something we're worried about as much. But in the context of a training room, we're always trying to protect our partners. Let's just keep an S grip for now. And just play it safe, you know, watch your partner's knees. It's a very advanced move. Some of you guys probably shouldn't be doing this, but you came to the Wednesday night class, so you'll get a chance to uh, try it out. But you have to be careful. If you roll the wrong way, and you land on your partner's knee, you're gonna tear the inside of the knee. So again, I'm riding. Always keeping pressure. No matter where Levy goes, I'm gonna follow him with my hips, my knees are pinching in. I'm on the pec muscle, I pull up, he posts. I have to pack my body to the side, elbow on the neck, elbow on the knee. Usually we go zip tie. We'll take S grip for now, that's fine. I like to pass back to the other side, because I feel like I have a little more momentum, okay? For the roll, I'm saying. If I, if I was just doing the basic tilt turn, I would stay here. But I can't do that because he has a leg post here. It, it feels very unnatural. He would have to have his knee down for that. So for the roll, I, I think it's a better idea to go back. I don't get theirs. Because I'm going to put my nuts hat on your drum set. Okay?